Hello YouTube, it's Dale from Beauty in the Empty Nest and it's time to go through my samples bag. So the big question here is samples to garbage or sample to purchase? If you want to see all my samples that I have and my decisions after testing them out, go ahead and keep watching. So I keep all my samples that I've been going through just in a little Sephora bag. They come from various places, however, probably the majority of them do come from Sephora because it's so nice to be able to go in there and get samples and I'm a firm believer in getting samples to try things before you make big plunges and purchases. Actually one of my things I really like to do too is to get a sample and then maybe buy the product but not open the product until after you used your sample. So at least then if it doesn't work and you have to return it. It's still a pure product that you haven't actually tampered with. Just one thing to be able to consider the next time. But I am a firm believer in the fact of trying all the products, especially skincare products, because if you're like me, your skin is a little more sensitive and sometimes has strange reactions to different products. So I now have my table here filled with a couple hair care products, skincare, and a few makeup products. So I'm going to start going through them and what I'll do is give you a quick mini review from the times I've used it and then also tell you whether I have purchased this, I plan to purchase this, or it's just going to go in the garbage. So let's go. Okay, I'm going to start with skincare and the first one is by Real Chemistry and this is that three minute peel. So it's, well, this was a nice deluxe sample and the idea was, and I've actually got, I think almost three uses out of this. It's just like any other kind of a mask. You would put it on, apply it, and then you would rinse it off after the three minute time period. Um, I typically like to use this in the shower. So got three uses out of it. Um, unfortunately, I didn't notice any difference. <laughs> it was kind of one of those, I felt good about doing something that seemed great for your skin. So this three minute peel is supposed to help rejuvenate your skin and get those dead um, cells off of there. I just didn't notice it doing that much. So I used it on three different occasions and just didn't notice a bang for the buck. So unfortunately, this is going in the garbage. Okay, another skincare product, and you can tell right here, this came from Sephora, and this was um, a, a dewy setting spray. So let me show you, I got the little spray right here. There's actually still some left in here because I thought this was a great little travel size okay. here. This was the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist by Tatcha. So, you know, that beautiful bottle, comes in a beautiful packaging, very pricey. Now, I still have some left here because I've been using it very sparingly. I actually did go ahead and purchase this, but this worked really well, the little container, when I got the bigger bottle, beautiful packaging, beautiful. It didn't have a nice mist when it sprayed, and it almost left me too glowy, and then on top of that, I had paid a lot of money for it. So I loved the sample, went and purchased it, hated it in the full size. You know, sometimes that happens. It could have been a bad bottle as well, but it just, it was splotchy when I went on there. And then because it is kind of glowy, well, it is very glowy, it made splotchy glow spots. So I liked the little sample. I didn't like the full size. So I don't know. Let me know down below if anyone has used that and has purchased the travel size or the full size and had better luck with it. So unfortunately, I'm going to save this little bottle because it, I was happy with a little tiny bottle, but I am not repurchasing it again. So, okay, more skincare. And this was by Benefit. This is the Triple Performing Facial Emulsion. In other words, their moisturizer. I really like this. I really, really, really like this. It did leave my skin a little bit shiny after I used it, but I was able to overlook that because I really, really liked it. I have not purchased it yet because I actually have several other moisturizers I've been using. However, it is on my list that if I run out of moisturizer and I need to go purchase one, this is definitely, you can see my cat Dexter walking around, definitely going to be one of the forefront 
winners for who will I purchase, but really, really like this by Benefit. So another one here, this is by Fresh, so a little pricey, but I always love the Fresh products. Um, this is the Cream Ancien Soft Cream. So the idea here, moisturizing your skin, making it more supple, making it softer. Um, it was a very heavy kind of cream, applied it at night, but it really, really, really was very nice. However, the price point for this is really high and I felt like I had other products that did almost as well as this. So would I purchase this? Maybe if I had to, or if I had a 20% discount that brought it down and not other, but the price point just scared me off of repurchasing it. So really nice. I mean, I love the fresh products, but just a little bit too pricey for me for a moisturizer. So I would purchase it though. If, if price wasn't an, uh, something that was a, sometimes a barrier to me, I would purchase it. Okay, next we have um, Ole Henriksen, and it was a couple different samples, and right now I have the Truth Serum Collagen Booster, and also the Invigorating Night Treatment. There was also a third one, but that seems to have escaped my pile, and I use these, some were used in the morning, some were used at night, and I have to say I really liked all of them. Um, the Truth Serum Collagen Booster, you can use this AM or PM, and then this nighttime treatment one. I really felt like my skin felt better in the morning. And after I used it in the, just, I mean, in the morning after applying it at night, when I applied the one for the morning, I just, if my skin felt softer, it seemed a little bit clearer. Um, so would I purchase these? I think I would right now. I have some other skincare products, but these are going on. I'm putting this, I make a little list of ones that I want to explore for future purchase when certain products run out. So this is the Ole Henriksen, the, their line. They had three different products, the Truth Serum Collagen Booster and also the Invigorating Night Treatment. So these two definitely were winners for me. Okay, another one. And this one was the Clinique take the day off cleansing balm. It came in this little folder here. So this is supposed to be a makeup remover. It's supposed to instantly transform. Um, it's this solid balm that you put on and then you start massaging it in and it gets a little milkier. You add some water to it. It's supposed to then come right up, take all your makeup off. I actually didn't like it. I didn't like that thick balm that you were putting on at first. I didn't know how much to really apply because then when the foam came up, after I played with it even several times, because it was a rather nice deluxe sample, it just kind of, it didn't seem to be doing what I had hoped it to be able to do. It did not necessarily take my makeup off as well as I would have liked if it got into my eyes and I was kind of like that blinded kind of thing, not stinging or burning, but it just, for me, it was just too heavy of a product. I don't think I like this medium for a makeup remover. So unfortunately, I won't purchase this. Okay, another one from Philosophy, and this was their Miracle um, Worker Night, the Ultimate Cream, and I just have the little thing that came with it. You can also see that I have a little sample also. So I had several of these samples that came out there because I, I like a lot of the Philosophy products. Not all of them work for me, but I do like a lot of them. So this one is supposed to be a nighttime miracle for your skin, it's supposed to make it smoother, radiant, with less visible wrinkles and pores. It was really nice. It definitely was really nice, and I felt like it did a nice job. Um, it's just a little pricey, so I have to really consider whether I want to put out that much for a nighttime cream, especially when I'm already doing some Retin-A and some other products that I've been happy with as well, too. However, I really did like it. So Philosophy every now and then has those 30% off sales. The last sale, this was excluded from it, or else I would have purchased some. So definitely something that I am strongly considering in the future. It's just that price point sometimes hits me, right? <laughs> so, but a really nice product. I felt like it really did a nice job. Oh, and one more product by Philosophy. This is their moisturizer with the SPF um, of 30 in it. Um, Renewed Hope, I believe it's called. It's just written on there. This was a very nice moisturizer. I was warned that it might be too shiny after I used it because I like to be able to use a moisturizer with SPF in the morning and I like it to be able to moisturize, but I don't want to make my face too shiny. So I had to combat that and everything. So I was warned when I got the sample that it might 
put too much more of a shine or glow on my face that I would not like. However, I didn't really encounter that. It was an acceptable level for me and I felt like it did a really nice job moisturizing and I love the SPS level on it. So again, will I purchase this? I probably will. Right now I have my other favorite um, moisturizer with SPF in it that I just had another um, stash pulled aside after that one runs out, which still could be several months, I will reconsider whether or not to get this um, Renewed Hope from Philosophy with the moisturizer with the SPF of 30 because I did really like it and did a nice moisturizing job. So this could definitely be a purchase. Okay, I think that is all. Oh, oh sorry, I had one more um, skincare. And this was by First Aid Beauty. This was their face cleanser. I did really like this. It did a nice job. It broke up my makeup really nicely and rinsed off very thoroughly. So I didn't, my skin didn't feel tight and dry. It just felt nicely cleansed and smooth, but clean. <laughs> so, and it really did a nice job breaking up my makeup. Um, I did not put it on mascara. I did a little bit lightly on the eyes and then I used eye makeup remover but it did clean up everything else really nicely. Even um, if I had long wearing kind of staining type lipstick, it was even taking that off really nicely. So I did very much like this and this will be, right now I'm into a philosophy, the purity, simple. I really like that, but this is another one that when that one runs out, if philosophy's having a sale, I'll repurchase that one. If they're not, I might do the first day beauty. So I really did like this cleanser, definitely. And I have a couple more samples like this I keep for travel too. So very happy with that one. Okay, a few hair products. And two are from the same line. It's the Sebastian Volup, Volup conditioner and shampoo. I like these in the sample. They did a really nice job of, in these sample packages, of leaving my hair soft, frizzy free, a little bit of a shine, but not making it way down. Obviously it's supposed to be for the volume, but also not making it kind of crazy looking. Um, like the samples, and I did purchase it. However, when I purchased it, it, it just felt different. It didn't get the same, don't you hate when that happens? I didn't get the same outcomes from it. So I actually gave it to my daughter and my daughter's been using it a little bit, but I liked the sample packages, but I didn't like the full size packages. I don't know why that happens. So it was a purchase, but it's just not a favorite product now. So unfortunately. Okay, another one that I really liked. This, this is the, Phyto, which I could be totally mispronouncing, Color Protect Radiance Mask for your hair. Um, this little sample here, I actually even have another one still too. I got three, well, two and a half times to be able to try this. The idea is you put it in your hair, either after shampooing or like I like to shampoo every other day, but I condition every day. So I put this in, really coat it, let it sit for like the five minutes you're in the shower and then rinse it out. It's supposed to be a color protectant, but it's also supposed to be moisturizing for your hair and doing all those kind of good things that you would like. And I really, really like this. My hair felt soft, but not too soft that you couldn't work with it. It felt more shiny. It just really, really like this. So will I purchase this after I have my other sample that I go through? I very much might. Really nice product and using it just once a week. So really did like this. Good job. <laughs> okay, so a few kind of makeup-y products here. All right, this one was the Murad Murad um, Invisible Blur Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Treats, Blurs, and Protects. So it was supposed to be a, kind of a, a nice serum, but also a primer in one. Um, I had very high hopes for this, and I was so excited about the fact that it was another SPF product there too. And I thought, same thing, and I can just use a regular moisturizer, don't have one with SPF, and then I don't have to worry about primer, it's supposed to blur line, I was, all those wonderful things. I don't recall that it's supposed to have a longevity. No, it's not supposed to, supposed to be the longevity for your makeup, but I would use the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, so that was less of a thing. However, I didn't really like it. I put it on and it just had a kind of a strange feeling on my skin and then I felt it. And I never usually feel primer, but I felt it the whole rest of the day and I couldn't wait to wash off. So I tried it several times. Did it do the invisible? I, I didn't notice any of those benefits because I just still felt it on my skin and it did no better than any of my other primers. And so I went back to my SPF with my moisturizer and went back to my normal primer. So unfortunately, it just wasn't a winner. Okay, a mascara. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I had a little sample trial and actually still am kind of using it. 
Um, I, this is one of those I hear people either love it or people hate it. I really, really did like it. I really did like it. And I still have another sample too that I have not opened yet. So one is in my travel bag and this one I've just been playing around with it every day. I don't believe I have it on today, but I did really, it was a very nice mascara. It doesn't necessarily curl my lashes, but it will hold the curl a little bit after I use the my eyelash curler, but it gives it a nice kind of volume to it, a nice color and it's also easy to work with. It's not too dry that you feel like you have to really tug on it, but it's not so moist that you have to be really careful. So I have to be really careful that I don't get it all, all over um, on my upper uh, bone right here because it so easily spreads there for me. So I was really, really happy with this. I really liked it. Not a forefront winner. I might Sigma Sinuosity is still one of my favorites and the Butterfly Mascara is still one of my favorites, but this is a really nice mascara. Okay. This one was not so good. I was really hoping it would be, and I had such a nice little you know, sample, deluxe sample here. And this was the Complexion Rescue um, from Bare Minerals. So I went there and they matched me with a color and I loved how I got this little sample. I was matched just with natural number five. You can see the little container here. I did not like this at all. I actually hated this. I put it on and I could not even like leave it on my skin for like an hour and a half and I had to go back. It just had, I talked about feeling with that Marad, feeling on my skin, I felt this on my skin. I do not like that at all. It just felt oily. It felt almost a slight bit itchy. No, and I di also didn't like the finish of it and I didn't like the fact that it was not blending out as nicely as I would have wanted. It just, it was a loser across all bounds. So. This Complexion Rescue by Bam Reynolds, unfortunately, to the trash, no repurchase, <laughs> no purchase. Okay, and I guess I just have, oh, I have one, uh, I have two other I missed one primer here. This is the Makeup Forever. This was the one for the smoothing primer. This was the Makeup Forever smoothing primer. Um, not my top favorite. <laughs> I want to like it because so many people have liked it. That's why I've gone back several times to get samples of it, thinking maybe I'm putting too much, maybe I'm too, too little, you know. But really, I like to just almost not have to think about those, oh, I put too much on, or I put too little, or I have to think about how I'm applying it, or I have to work quickly. And I just, I haven't found this to be one of those winter primers. So unfortunately, I'm not repurchasing, or not purchasing this. Okay, last product, and this was just adorable. Um, I've already kind of spoken about this product, so you nor know what I'm doing. This is the Urban Decay, and I've already taken it out of here. It was a little mini, which is just so adorable, makeup setting spray in the All Nighter. I love this, I love this setting spray. Really, it does such a nice job of finishing off your makeup and also then making it endure, but not feeling like hairspray. I don't know how many of you have tried the L'Oreal, the Infallible spray. Does not work for me. Even the, the NYX one, doesn't, and ELF ones, those just feel tight. This one to me, I, it just is refreshing going on and then that's it, I don't feel it, but it really does a nice job of keeping my makeup on all day. So already I've purchased this, will continue to repurchase this whenever I run out because it has a real place in my whole makeup regimen and how I apply and different times when I want my makeup to look different ways. So definitely, definitely, purchasing, repurchasing, probably on for many years. So, well, that was my bag. So I hope that this was kind of helpful. Let me know. I have done one more, one of these series once before. I'll try to remember to link that down below. So in case you're interested and I will now empty this out and from now on, any other samples that I get, and I might be going to Sephora today for some other samples. So, They'll keep getting dumped in here, and when it's full enough, I'll come back and I'll share with you with the important question of, am I going to purchase this, or is it going to go into the trash? So, if you like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe, and that way everything is, the videos there are waiting for you whenever I upload them. So, until next time, goodbye YouTube.